Blocker Blogger, Brian Price here with the man, the legend, Kenny Main. How you doing tonight? I'm well. I tell stumbled into this, actually, but I'm happy to be here now. Stumbled in how? What happened? Uh, well, I had a meeting to plan what the heck we're doing for my little job, and it so happened that this was going on, so uh, it's pretty cool. What are some of those adjectives you can use to describe basketball in the 90s, the NBA? Uh, usually I would just say he's tall. I kind of minimize. Uh, no, there's some great things going on. It takes more than adjectives. Uh, you know, what LeBron's doing and Kobe's doing and some of the upstarts, but each year, you know, they're sort of like a news story. So um, I'm still uh, in pain from the loss of my Seattle Sonics. Uh, but what they're doing down there, Durant, you know, one of the best scorers in the league. So happy to see those guys go on and continue to excel. But it's still a great game, and especially. You know, obviously, as you point toward, you know, trying to win titles, everything that takes place in the spring is just, you know, sort of part of Americana. Well, let me ask you, moving to the man of the night, Reggie Miller, talk to me about your first impact, when you saw him play, and how your concept of him grew as you continue to watch him play. Well, particularly with all those uh, events with the Knicks, I mean, that, that's obviously what this is about, but I remember when I first got hired by ESPN, it was for ESPN2, and I got sent down here, it was a Game 7, Knicks, Pacers, and to think, you know, I'm from Kent, Washington, a little town south of Seattle, I mean, it was, it still is exhilarating to see, you know, those kind of marquee events, but particularly for me back then, 15 years ago, couldn't believe, you know, my riches, you know, I'm at this event, Madison Square Garden, so all the hype of it, all the old stories about Madison Square Garden are true when it plays out, you know, at that level, and they, I can't wait to see it because I've forgotten so many of them, you know, the eight points in four seconds, whatever the heck that thing was. You know, there's just so many great memories and the rivalry and, and what those teams brought. A lot of it through Reggie Miller is, is something to be celebrated. With those eight points, talk to me about present of mind. Is Reggie Miller a basketball genius? Uh, that's probably fair to say. There's certain players, obviously, who get by just on their athleticism. And there's others, you know, who have the smarts and the skills. Um, I mean, Larry Bird, you know, being a great example of just such a smart basketball mind. But no, he he knew what his purpose was. And and the thing is about great shooters, they don't have any fear. They, I remember Bernie Bickerstaff, one time Dale Ellis had gone like whatever, you know, 0 for 12 or 0 for 14. And we asked him, you know, is anything wrong? He said, like, shooters shoot. He'll come back and shoot the next game. So Reggie Miller was very much in that category where it didn't matter. If you have one off game, you come back and have a good game the next time. Or each trip down the court didn't matter. You know, you have that short memory and like a quarterback getting picked, you can't worry about it the next time.